Today we're going to talk about the many and varied places where you can find all of the rules for playing Warhammer 40k. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, the strategy focused 40k channel where we're all about getting the most out of our miniatures on the tabletop. From a relatively simple start, 8th edition 40k, blossomed from a few core index books and a core rule set into what rules wise has become a bit of a monster. Games Workshop has been keeping up a steady stream of content, coming from a decent variety of different angles, whether they're codex releases, new miniatures, campaign books, and making 40k rules for some of the other miniatures that it releases for things like Blackstone Fortress. They've also been a lot more prompt and thorough releasing FAQs for rules that don't work and balance changes, and while I personally really quite like frequent and interesting game changes and updates, it does mean that it leaves a bit of a trail behind it, where we get ever-expanding rule sources without things all drawn together in one neat book. I think if you really wanted to collect every single rule for every unit available in 40k, you'd really struggle, and the sheer amount of places that they sell rules, and when reviewing this list it does make me think that we should potentially be moving to some sort of digital update system, at least for the core rules of the game, so we don't create weird situations where you need individual downloads hidden in obscure Warhammer community posts, and physical paper copies for some of the rules that are only available in the box. Until that happy time sometime in the future, hopefully this guide will give you a decent start as to where all the rules are located. If I've missed anything, then please let me know down in the comments below. I've tried to include everything that's needed to play 8th edition in its current form, while omitting things that have been superseded like some of the index books. With all that being said, let's have a talk through each one. First up, we of course have the core rulebook. This contains the core rules, the basic missions, and some match play rules. Next up we have Chapter Approved 2017, 2018 and 2019. Naturally 2019 is the most important one as it's the most updated version of the points cost for units in the game and all of the current match play rules and most recent missions. Chapter Approved 2019 also has several data sheets including all of the fortifications and a bunch of 40k units, mainly demons, Slanesh and corn demons who've had recent models come out, and a narrative game mode called Spearhead amongst other narrative and open play things. Chapter Approved 2018, of course the points are out of date with this one, but it still has a bunch of different missions, rules for playing the expansion Cities of Death, and some open play things for things like Orc Looted Wagons. The 2017 version also has some different missions, and has some rules for playing Planet Strike and Stronghold Assault, two other variants on 8th edition that don't see all that much play. Then we get to the core codexes, the main army books of each faction, of which there are 23 now, covering everything from Space Marines to Gene Stealer Cult to Thousand Sons. These have full rules for using the army, including warlord traits, relics, stratagems, tactical objectives, all the data sheets, and any special rules for using the faction. There are six codex supplements for codex Space Marines. These are the ones like Ultramarines and Raven Guard and Iron Hands, which are used in addition to codex Space Marines to provide the armies additional special rules, such as unique relics, warlord traits, psychic powers, and stratagems and things. For Forge World units, there's four indexes, two Imperial, one Xenos, and one Chaos, detailing how all of their models work, including things like the Death Corps of Krieg, Renegades and Heretics, their Titans, and any other fancy special characters and units they've made over the years. We've got four White Dwarf indexes, which are made for playing some of the lesser used factions with smaller model counts, such as Inari, Assassins, Sists of Silence, and Inquisition, though I believe the Inari actually have had their rules updated in Phoenix Rising, the Eldar Psychic Awakening book, so technically three White Dwarf indexes I guess. On the Warhammer community website we have rules for Warhammer Legends, these are miniatures that they used to make, or once made rules for but unfortunately no longer support, things like Imperial Guard Rough Riders, various Space Marine characters on bikes, the Rhino Primaris and Land Raider Excelsior from Warhammer World, which are actually still on sale, and various other things that have fallen by the wayside a little over the years. Next we have Campaign Supplements, there's Vigilus Defiant and Vigilus Ablaze, these ones came out in early 2019. Vigilus Defiant has a bunch of special formations for the Imperium and a few Xenos races, such as Orcs and Gene Stealer Colts and Eldar, and add in a few special rules and stratagems to give them a boost. Vigilus Ablaze is entirely focused on Chaos, but expanded the Black Legion's options, gave them access to some new Possessed and Demon Engine options, and also gave them 8 specialist attachments as well the ones that give them extra stratagems and warlord traits for certain chaos formations, as well as a few rules for renegade space marines. Next we have the current release cycle for Psychic Awakening series, which has 6 books released so far if you count Saga of the Beast, which technically will be past the release date, but it's not actually been shipped due to the current pandemic. 
Nathan Fury gives you yet more Chaos rules, expanding the option of the Core Traitor Lesions, and gives you a similar supplement type book for the Black Templars and the Space Marine Masters of the Chapter, Blood of the Phoenix for Dark Eldar, Craft Worlds and Eldar, Blood of Bar for Tyranids and Blood Angels, Ritual of the Dams for Grey Knights, Thousand Sons and Dark Angels, The Greater Good for Tau, Gene Stealer Colts and Imperial Guards, and Saga of the Beasts for Orcs and Space Wolves. At some point in the future there will also be Engine War and the rumoured War of the Spider, where we'll see more updates for yet more factions. Then for the vast majority of these Codex books and Campaign books, they have an FAQ for every document, clearing up any issues or rules clarifications in the book, and occasionally making it errata or changes, sometimes to make the rules function as intended, sometimes for balance changes where they've made something too strong. There's really quite a hefty number of these, I believe there are 47 different PDFs if you want every single FAQ for every one of these books and supplements. They also have the big FAQ balance updates available for download, but I believe that these have been eclipsed and rolled into Chapter Approved 2019 now. However, since then, they released that Space Marines rule change and errata balance update, the one that came out within the last couple of months, nerfing some Iron Hands combinations and changing the way that combat doctrines work. Next, Forge World has a bunch of PDFs and data sheets for units that they sell that aren't in the indexes. These also include things like updated rules for the Renegade and Imperial Knights, the rules for their Custodes range, and various other specific new releases, such as the Imperial Guard Carnadon Tank and others. These are all available just to download off the Forge World website. Possibly most annoyingly for finding where all the rules are, some appear to be only available in actual box sets in paper form. There are 40k rules for the Illicidian Star Striders, the Rogue Traders, and the Gelopox Infected, the Mutated Chaos Folks from the Kill Team Rogue Trader box set. 40k rules come with the Dreaded Amble, the Chaos Ogryn and Commissar, both of whom are expansions of Blackstone Fortress, and also Sly Marbo has a datasheet that comes with him, but to my knowledge none of the above are available to download as free PDFs on the Warhammer community website, although I suspect they probably should be if they are intended them to actually be part of 8th edition 40k. They have done this for certain models, such as the majority of Blackstone Fortress. They've got a fairly big PDF with all of the character data sheets for the big box that came out originally. They have one for the Red Gobbo, which I believe will be going into Legends, and also ones for Serena Rain, a named guard commissar that they released a while back for Black Library. Talking of Black Library, I've just remembered another one, Valyrian and Alea, are also an example of models that have datasheets in the box and aren't available to download to my knowledge. Now that's quite a lot of rule sources, to put it mildly, and it's hard to say that 8th edition is quite as streamlined as when it started. I can't say that it's the biggest issue to me, but I do spend quite a lot of time looking at 40k rules and explaining them on the internet, and the average person doesn't have quite as much time to get in their head around all this. I think there's definitely some growing demand for a digital rule set that gets updated, and just for more single chunky releases, and there'd definitely be benefits and trade-offs for both options. Like I said, if you've spotted anything that I've missed, I'm sure there will be stuff, please let me know down in the comments, or let me know your thoughts on the state of the 8th edition rules. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to Allspets Tactics for more 40k content, we have plenty coming out every single day. And if you've been enjoying my content, I'd just like to mention the channel's Patreon page, which allows me to keep on making quite this many videos. If you're watching regularly, then any support is greatly appreciated. You do get to see some videos early, there's semi-regular prize draws, where I post out models to some lucky Patreons, and I have regular votes on what should come next for the channel. If any of that's interesting to you, then please check it out down in the description below. And of course, a massive thank you to my current Patreons for making all of this possible. In any case, thanks very much for listening. I'll hope to see you guys next time, and bloat for the bloat god, rules for the rules throne.